Hey internet, for this video I'm going to take apart an Android tablet. This tablet was bought on eBay. I think it's some random no-name brand one. It broke in about a month's use. So naturally I'd want to post a video on its disassembly. All tablets internals generally have the same physical layout. So if you're watching this to see a demonstration before disassembling your own tablet, the video may be useful for you. Alright, let's take this thing apart. This tablet uses super tiny Phillips screws. Luckily I've got a screwdriver head that works for it. Back shell pops right open after removing the screws. No need to use any force to pull it off. Can't say the same for other tablets. Here's the inside. Just the tablet PCB and battery. It's pretty ghetto how these parts are simply taped together. That's a cheap tablet for you. The speakers are taped to the back. Not very elegant. This is the RAM chip. Nearly every Android device I've opened up uses RAM modules from Hynix. This connection ribbon probably connects either the LCD screen or digitizer. For those that don't know, a digitizer is what allows you to perform touch commands on tablet screens. Without a digitizer, you will not be able to operate a tablet. Alright, time to take it all apart. Removing the PCB, have to use the tiny Phillips head again for the screws. Underneath the heat spreader is the CPU. Removing the tape that's securing the battery. Removing connection ribbons for the LCD, camera, and digitizer. Removing the speakers. Removing the battery. It feels like I'm holding a melted chocolate candy bar. Considering the cost of this tablet, I wouldn't be surprised if the battery has no protective shell under this duct tape. Not sure what this piece is for, but it's connected to the battery. the LCD screen which seems to be fused onto the digitizer. Since this is already broken, I'm not going to be gentle with it. I pretty much ended up cracking the digitizer while separating it from the LCD. There is probably a more gentler way to do it without breaking the digitizer, but at this point who cares. The tablet is already broken and it's too cheap to consider fixing. This is the LCD screen. The back is a foam-like shell. Don't think I've ever felt material like this before. Feels pretty cheap though. 
So the digitizer is on the left and the LCD screen is on the right. The digitizer is what senses the touch commands, not the LCD screen. The digitizer got cracked while removing it. I would suggest being way more gentle and looking for the correct way to separate it from the LCD on your own project. This connection ribbon connects to the motherboard PCB. It sends the touch input to the tablet allowing you to control it. This little piece of printed circuit board is the heart of the tablet. It's basically the motherboard of the tablet. The PCB is thin and feels flimsy. No wonder it died so quickly. The way it's put together just feels very cheap. I guess this last ribbon connection is for the rear camera. Removing the heat spreader. This is what cools the CPU down. The heat spreader feels spongy. I've opened up other phones and tablets before. Usually the heat sinks I've run into are metallic like copper or aluminum with this type of substance underneath. Looks like a cost cutting measure to ditch the metal entirely for this tablet. Perhaps the poor cooling caused an early demise. It was noticeably hotter than my Nexus 7 and Dell Venue 8 Pro tablets. I literally had it for one month before it kicked the bucket. So here are the parts that make up an Android tablet. Digitizer, LCD screen, PCB containing the CPU, RAM, and flash memory, and the battery. I'm not going to be putting this back together. It isn't worth trying to repair either. Also, by breaking the digitizer while separating it from the LCD pretty much guarantees the tablet will end up in a recycling center. Hopefully, the disassembly of this tablet was helpful to someone. That makes it all worth it to make the video. And that's it. Give a like if you found this video useful or entertaining. Or give a dislike if you feel otherwise. Thanks for watching.